all have work to do in that area, but, but their turnover margin is a plus five in this season. All right, Clowney Brown for their second touch inside, and that time makes good with it. And I think the Lady Raiders have got to take and knock down the three. That's a great example of why she's leading the score. Scoring. Jackson. Brown, she shows she can shoot from out there against UConn. And once in a while, the officials actually have a better angle than I do. Careful, don't admit too much, Coach. Cox from the right side. She's got so much better at that. Only the finishing ability, but getting open. But look at this. Uh -oh. All alone inside, and Alicia Smith all uh, underneath created arc on a lay-in. Oh, Chloe Jetson answering at the other end. Creating culture and winning culture right now, and that's going to be part of the the battles that she's going to have to fight in her first year. Good times. Get hard in there. Eggbo from the free throw line. Tech team, if they're going to try and pull off this upset today. Exactly. Quickly inside other end. Eggbo has eight possessions. Cox this time from the left block. Guts and blocked. Cox, but that one... No good. Landrum and Cox on the run. Landrum will try to finish. He does. Yeah. Jackson with another good look inside. Eggbo now with 21 points on a 6 0 run at the moment. And Jackson will pull it up for herself. Picked away again by Baylor. Their defensive intensity has just seemed to have picked up with each quarter. And the offensive rebound. What's interesting to me, you know, as a coach, I think kind of how you finish games. Now, Baylor's going to win this game, but how does Texas Tech finish games? Right, Kim Mulkey and the Baylor Lady Bears improving to 11-1. and one.